is the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of October 18th to the 24th, 2021. Thank you so much for joining me for this weekly reading. Um, I do want to mention right off the bat, we have the control card at the bottom, which I feel very drawn to for you. And I was feeling very restless trying to get comfortable in my seat when I was trying to start your reading. Um, so I feel like you're going to want a level of perfection this week or striving for it wanting to try to control things a little bit too much in one way, shape, or form. But um, either way, we're going to begin by pulling a couple messages from the Halloween Oracle deck, Tis the Season, and then we'll uh, pull some Tattoo Tarot for the main part of the reading, finish off with the Moon Magic um, Small Oracle deck, and if need be, we will uh, further clarify with the Small Everyday Tarot. We probably will. Okay? Trying to keep it brief for the intro. Let's do some shop time. I don't know if I mentioned you will probably be feeling a little bit restless this week for whatever reason. Okay. Nothing to stress over. For Aquarius for this upcoming week, the 18th to the 24th of October. One flipping out. What else do we have for Aquarius this upcoming week? I feel like things haven't been truly really easy for you, but it's about to sort of work out for you. Things are about to get better. And I'll tell you why. One second. Happiness in our hearts and homes. So focus on your home life. Are you happy with your home life? It feels like a lot of you view it as your sanctuary or somewhere where you can um, retract to, you know, head towards when you feel a bit anxious or a little bit on edge, restless, or just irritated. But we're beginning with dawn, the light after the darkness. Things haven't been easy for you. And I feel like it's a week where you're reminded or start to see that <clears throat> the light's coming out, the sun's starting to come out again. You know, you can sort of spread your wings once again and fly towards what you deserve. Beautiful. Let's clarify this with the small everyday tarot. Um, I've been using it a lot when I do some initial shelf line. Okay. For this dawn card for Aquarius. Bear with me. Yes, your spiritual connection might be putting you on edge regardless. Um, so I need to adjust your perspective, feeling like you expect the worst at times because things just fall flat often or things aren't as easy as they could be. Or you just feel like you get the shit end of the stick, feeling to say. Um, but I need to adjust your perspective because um, things will work out for you moving forward. It's a week that proves that to in one way, shape, or form. All right, but with the Six of Swords and the... Um, Ten of Pentacles, a lot of you sailing away from a situation that no longer works for you towards your happily ever after, okay? Things are about to align for you. You're going to be given a reason to celebrate or multiple reasons to celebrate, if I could say it, um, this week, okay? And the owl symbolizing your knowledge and wisdom that you've gained over time, okay? Um, interestingly enough, the Queen of Pentacles and the Lovers in Reverse, um, a lot of you feeling like you lack that love in your life or a, a connection, a relationship, or the love, the romance isn't really strong in your um, relationship if you're already connected to somebody. But I feel like the things will improve, right? This will be flipped in reverse. So this is speaking upon you not feeling confident or successful within your love life or your career or in your finances and feeling like all of which will start to um, improve in one way, shape, or form. But I feel like you're not going to have a, a hefty amount of patience this week. So I need to try to flip this in reverse. Have patience, balance, as things get better. Okay. Um, Barm Brock. I think I said that right. Sweetness and synergy. So yeah, this kind of reminds me of the card on the bottom with the baked bread. A huge kind of homey vibe kind of feeling. Um, some of you not wanting to sort of venture outside of the home too, too much if need be. Um, or you could do some baking this week. I feel like there's a push to sort of bond with certain energies. There's a moment you're going to have at home, okay, with a loved one or somebody you care about or somebody you just met. And it kind of either revives a relationship or just reminds you why they have come into or have been in your life, okay? The Nine of Cups and the Five of Pentacles feeling like some of you don't feel like you fit in within your home life or... It's just these small sort of homey moments this week or moments throughout the week 
as you're trying to work with certain people, remind you uh, the type of energies, the type of situations you work well with uh, or fit in with and ones that you don't, okay? Um, but the Nine of Cups, let's get a, another one. This is a weird card. The Hermit. Yeah, feeling like a lot of you just kind of either because of your anxiety or just um, what's been going on. Uh, you just feel the need to be by yourself and that's okay. But there's a push from the universe to kind of do what you... I won't say do what you'd like, but I feel the need to say that the universe will push you to bond with certain individuals, right? That's when things will feel sort of um, beautiful, okay? That was the weirdest card. We're moving on to Skull of Darkness, Blind Spots. Huge focus on your mindset this week. I think I already mentioned that. Uh, Nine of Wands, feeling quite depleted, okay? Yeah, Ten of Swords. Uh, King of Swords, okay? <clears throat> so all the meanwhile, it's as if you just feel sort of depleted, uh, burnt out from what you've been through, all of the difficulties, um, the failures. But then it's like, it's like you have to dig with that inner strength, right? Or just revive yourself in one way, shape, or form by implementing more self-care, taking time to rest, or sur surrounding yourself, excuse me, with the right type of people and situations that make you feel more alive. Utilizing your wisdom and knowledge you've gained over time to benefit your situation, to improve your career and your financial situation as well, to select the right kind of love, or to bring love back into the situation, however it pertains to you. Also, I just feel like a huge focus on you making wise choices moving forward as to who stays with you or comes into your life when it comes to friendships, okay? Makes a big difference. You, I feel like you'll be reminded at a certain point this week, you sort of become, start to become who you spend the most time with. So choose wisely, okay? Spider, community and web weaving. I love that we start the four cards with the light after the darkness, the dawn card. And then we have you sort of um, building from the ground up or just kind of viewing in that manner, just, you know, weaving your web um, of success. I feel like a bit of a whirlwind this week as I'm drawn to this part of the spider. There's a lot of changing, uh, but you have the choice to adjust to those changes in a productive manner. Knight of Cups, somebody's going to come and um, offer you the cup of love this week. I'm not sure that you'll be very sort of intrigued by it. That's for some of you. Okay, some of you are the majority of you going after a fresh financial investment or a new job. Okay. For a lot of you, it's to help a community or to make a difference in one way, shape, or form. At the very least, to improve your financial uh, stability. Okay. To your comfort within work, feeling like a lot of you aren't truly comfortable where you work, even if that's at home. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me as I lose my voice. Um, you will find yourself at certain points in the week as you're thinking about something specific. It's sort of spacing out or seeing like stars, you know, or you could be seeing orbs. It happens to me even um, in my day to day life. It, some of you, you need to drink more water. Others of you, it's not uh, you seeing stars, they are orbs. Okay. Let's continue and pull some main tarot. Things are happening for you. The wheel's turning. You just need to make a lot of decisions, weigh things out. Don't overthink it. I know that's a true habit of yours as an Aquarius, okay? You're very analytical. I also feel like throughout the week, there's going to be a huge focus on you sort of allowing your eccentric weird side to shine. I mean, you're one of the weird signs. It's okay. It's beautiful, you know? And it's like, it feels as if you will attract people or should attract people moving forward in your life who will appreciate that, you know, or have that in common with you. If they don't like the eccentric side of you, then they can just, you know, move away. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna go with just the five. Beginning with Magician, or The Magician, I'm so sorry. What do we have for The Magician, for Aquarius? The Moon, okay? It's like, you have to, it's a huge focus at the beginning of the week, throughout the entire week on your mindset, utilizing what you know and what you've been through to manifest what you desire. Don't manifest the worst, okay? If you expect the worst, if you expect for things to fall flat like they have in the past, that's what, exactly what you're going to get. 
or like things are going to fall into place and work out for you. But expect for that to happen. Okay, expect for things to improve for the, the new, the fresh to work out for you, right? Um, it feels like you don't sort of know exactly how things are going to work out. I feel like some of you overwork yourself or naturally bond with um, toxic people at times or have a toxic work environment and so a lot of you trying to see like expecting the worst or focusing on the negatives instead of focusing on the positives right or focusing on what's failed instead of what is about to succeed um, a need to sort of move towards a leap of faith or um, a more simplistic situation in one way shape or form uh, this is aligned with the dawn card but it just feels like you don't fully understand in an emotional way what your future entails but all the meanwhile just being pushed to sort of stop adjust your perspective like the hangman and let's manifest the best uh possible outcome okay and it feels like that pertains to all areas of your life this week queen of wands bear with the background noise three of swords i feel like under the surface you're very sort of wounded in an emotional way you know it feels like people have done you wrong situations have left you sort of just tired right but it's like that passion within you doesn't dissipate you know regardless of what the situation is and it makes you one of the most beautiful souls out there okay feels like you'll be reminding yourself blossoming as well somebody wants a new tattoo get it all right you won't regret it King of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Sorry as I stopped because of the obnoxious noise in the background. But feeling as if you just keep your confidence alive towards the middle or the, kind of the middle of the week, right? Or as you make your way towards that point, wanting to sort of invest in something new or start a fresh new job, thinking about it, but passionately need, needing to move towards it, right? How often do you think about something, mull it over, do research, and then not actually go towards it? All right, it's time to kind of put that habit to rest and just do all of that, which we were just talking about, but actually move towards it, right? Finalize that process by giving yourself, manifesting what you desire. Because again, going back to the manifestation card, the magician card, you can uh, keep that hope alive. You can believe in 1000%, you know, get rid of all the, the doubt. And if you don't actually move towards it, put in the action, you won't manifest it. People forget that at times. Five of swords. And so I feel like you're going to stress yourself out or noise will stress you out, right? A noisy environment, whether it's work, home, certain energies in your life, just being like, can you please shut up, right? Or can we keep it down? I'm trying to work or I'm trying to just uh, sleep or have a bit of inner peace. Um, all the meanwhile, you could be stressing over a tower moment that you know is about to come intuitively or one that came to be recently. It could be both, right? But that it leaves you this sort of passion to go after what you deserve right but all the meanwhile it's like can things be a little bit easier a little bit less stressful you might find yourself ranting speaking quicker quicker excuse me when stuttering because of your anxiety or because of the energies the noise that it's like i have a lot to weigh out a lot to decide and people need to just make it a lot easier for me to do so okay so it might be part of why you're sort of drawn to being your hermit mode more i don't blame you i, I feel your um your pain to a certain extent okay Moving on to the Nine of Wands, feeling quite depleted. This already came out for the Skull of Darkness card earlier for blind spots. Feels like you don't fully get where your future is meant to go and it leaves you kind of depleted. But you've dealt with a lot. It's just like you'll get continuous reminders throughout the week that things are going to improve. You know, you feel depleted because your lack of sleep or whatever the case may be. Um, what you're dealing with, what you've dealt with. But it will get better, okay? We've got the star in justice. So all the meanwhile, you'll be pushed by certain energies in your life that you care about most or that care about you the most from the universe to keep that hope alive, to balance things out for yourself in a beautiful way, to reach for that level of justice, to being aligned with the magician card, to manifest it, okay? Just because you're feeling wounded, uh, burnt out, and just kind of depleted doesn't mean that this has to be turned in reverse. Doesn't mean that your manifestation skills disappear, okay? Your mind will always be one of your best tools, so utilize it to your advantage. We're finishing off the spread with death. And as I say that, we get a bit more quiet. It feels like you'll be given several moments throughout the week to have a little bit of peace, okay? Serenity. Even if it's not for a huge amount of time. But for the death card, we have the Empress and the Four of Cups. 
And so a lot of you uh, taking a huge focus or being pushed to focus at the end of the week um, on death, uh, endings, new beginnings. You wanted to give birth to a new business or a new job or a new relationship or a new beginning within a relationship, okay? Needing to, when having options come towards you, uh, knowing what's not meant for you, okay? It's the end of the week where an option comes towards you in one of those categories, maybe all of which, where you need to know how to say no. You need to learn from what you've been through, uh, pull from that knowledge, that wisdom, and just be like, I don't have to settle, okay? Remind yourself of that. If not, I feel like a universal reminder will come through. As somebody, I feel like for a lot of you will offer their cup of love. And look it, it's not going to be very enticing. Don't settle, okay? For my lovely Aquarians to wrap up this reading. I am curious about my true nature. I seek to understand myself. I feel like it's a true week of you continuing that self-development and growth. Understanding yourself better. You might be looking into your personal chart more. Um, and don't feel bad that that's still a continuing process. I have power. It's real. Keep that power alive, right? Keep that hope alive. So I hope this reading was truly helpful. Um, I hope you have the most amazing week and I'll definitely see you next time. Bye Aquarius.